Today I'm making this video because I want to make a proposal for an exhibition at the art museum and I thought it would be a good idea to make the centerpiece of this exhibition at the museum this particular painting here this painting is Pythagoras and the Schrodinger equation it looks a bit different than my normal paintings here it's got the Schrodinger cat which represents um, you know, the Schrodinger equation, how Schrodinger wanted to explain these very complex ideas by using an example of a cat in a box. And then obviously just the Pythagoras trigonometry really changed the whole world. It um, allowed us to calculate distances that we could never do before. And so I think it's a very big centerpiece in mathematics. If you um, are aware of my art, um, I'm obviously doing hybrid pointillism. Uh, we have a manifesto and everything for the, for the art movement. And in hybrid pointillism, that is quite interesting, is we even will count the splattering as points or uh, little dots. So for example, in this painting over here, it's a lady, and then there's two houses next to her, and it's like a landscape scene. If this painting is framed, it will be 120 by 160 centimeters. Then there's all kinds of figures in this painting as well, if you go closer. And also the texture on the painting is quite nice. And then here is some collage. And the collage is regarding hands. And this painting is called The Hands That Heal. And also there is another page out of Grant's Method of Anatomy. Collage also makes the Painting is quite interesting because it gives you some type of direction when you start doing the painting of where you want to go and what you want to focus on. Then there's just some other examples of paintings as well. <clears throat> and then also for part of the museum exhibition, this painting of Frida Kahlo and then these found objects which is a stove and it's um, I used lots of gold spray paint and then I mounted this painting on top of it and it becomes a sculpture the right direction and Frida Kahlo obviously the arrow <laughs> depends on how you look at it is either right or left <laughs> So, but anyway, so in this picture, it's the right direction. And then also, here's a painting, Elizabeth Taylor. This painting was damaged by somebody else. I think it actually makes it look a bit better. Very interesting damage on this painting. And also, again, there you can, up close, you can see the texture and the little splatterings on the painting. Here's an, oh, and then this painting, is Jean de Buffet, obviously a very big influence on the hybrid pointillism art movement. And also when you go closer, you will see there is some splattering, but not it's not um, very severe. It's just like a little bit of splattering. And then you go to this painting over here, and when you go closer, you'll see there's very intense splattering all over the painting. These paintings are all mostly done in acrylic, enamel, ink, and collage and found objects, any type of material I can get my hands on. Uh, oh, there I am in the reflection is out. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you like this video. Just a quick video 
uh, regarding my proposal for a museum exhibition. And uh, I'll just uh, leave with this painting over here. And then there's also a beautiful yellow flower. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've got a great day further. Peace out.